ET7000 series is our modbus TCP IO module, which features a built-in web interface, which allows configuration, IO monitoring, and IO control by simply using a regular web browser. It doesn't require any programming skill to configure the module. We have modules that come with different number of channels and IO type. Right now, I'm using ET7066 for this demo. This module comes with um, PhotoMOS AC or DC relay output. So, so first step, we need to install eSearch utility in our uh, computer. After connecting module to a computer, simply open eSearch utility to search module within the same network. It will tell you the name of module, IP settings, uh, subnet mask, gateway, and MAC address. I can double click on it. The results to modify network configuration over here. Once the IP setting is completed, then I can open a web browser to go to the ET7000 web interface. And I can enter the IP address of this module. When it's using me for the first time, you may need to fill out the username and password. Then this main page will show up. In the overview page, you can see the module name, um, MAC address, firmware version, um, OS version, etc. In configuration, I can go to network settings. You can also change the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, or uh, static IP, or DHCP over here. In basic settings, user can add module information, um, the web interface design, web server port, Mobus TCP port number, or just restore all default settings by checking this and submit. In module IO settings, it can modify some common functions, such as I can check this to reset um, all settings to default. I can reset, reboot the module, or some other function like watchdog timer, DI counters. You can also find the I/O settings to change the I/O type. Because this module ET7066 only have digital output, so I will see all different channels here. So it will show different settings depends on the module. It should be checked every time before putting the module online. If you're using other module like ET7017, which is an analog input module, it will show it differently. You can select which input type you want to use, uh, such as voltage or current. Once everything is finished, you can click Submit to save the settings into the module. In authentication, in account management, you can change the login account name and password, or add other account names as well. In accessible IP settings, you can set up limitation for any outgoing access. If you go to Web HMI, this is the most useful session that can monitor and control the real-time status of different channels or reading for all channels. When module is online, you will see the blue, blue cow symbol. With it means the module is communicating with the, my computer. 
for ET7066, I can control uh, digital output channels using the buttons here on off. When using other ET7000 modules like ET7017, you will see different analog values right next to the channel number. Last one is the pair connection feature. This option in the main menu provides access to the configuration page for the pair connection function. So this function is a feature of ET or PET 7000 module that can be used to enable a pair of DI to DO or AI to AO over Mopus TCP. When pair connection function is enabled, then a pair of ET7000 module can pull the status of the remote input device using Mopus TCP protocol and then continuously write to its output channels in the background. So one, the first module will be used to read the input and then the second connected or the remote module will output the corresponding value. It can be either digital or analog, depending on which uh, module you are getting. Thank you for watching how to configure an ET7000 module.